Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Uh, I, I <laughs> just realized I just stumbled there. But we're going to be playing on a new map. I, I, I forgot the name already. I think it was Wild Clover. I don't know. I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, come on. Give me some slack here. Anyways, we're going to be starting off. This is a new map. So th there is a kind of area here. So I put one barracks there. Two barracks here. And send some riflemen over there, get some stuff, get some containers. This is a domination map, so we, we are going to have to pay attention to these flags. Also, we're going to have to use these the troops that we use to train and get containers to capture those flags. Uh, we can already see that our opponent is capturing some flags already. There's some riflemen right there. And upon scouting, HQ level 2, decent. We, we see that the construction yard is placed towards the navy, so yeah, they're gonna get the navy containers. I really don't care about the navy containers because as long as they got the the land containers, I am good. I I don't I literally don't care about the navy containers because if I get all the ground containers, then I already have the advantage. So blue is behind until they get the navy containers. And we can use that advantage even for a little bit of time. Use that advantage to, to you know, get some leverage, get some advantage out. That's what I'm trying to do. I have a coyote just, you know, just hitting these assaults at point blank range. Getting this flag, of course. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oops. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Still HQ level 2, although 4 supply centers, maybe a 5th one has been thrown up somewhere. But I really I really do think there's some deltas. Mm, deltas going up somewhere. I have thrown in a special vehicle factory. I mean, not special vehicle. Uh, the prototype factory, yes, yes, yes. I, I just had like a blank brain right there for a second I, I don't know why but prototype factory gonna, gonna get some heroes out oh yeah okay so I have HQ level 3 gonna get some more supplies out as well you know just get those administrative buildings of course I do have a few more troops I have wasp here on top of this cliff to have a scout or just like an immediate uh, measure kind of thing. Because Wasp is that just so versatile. Can go anywhere on the map. Is really quick. Uh, has Acid Strike, which is a really good support fire. There's, it's really not tanky or dealing... It doesn't really deal that much damage. Like, the damage is mediocre. And most, it's like the damage of an Armadillo... Damage is not good, but the fact that it can respond to any situation and it's a it, and it's a helicopter So only a few units can shoot at it just makes wasp such a versatile unit. I Just love that about wasp like come on. It's it's so good it's The speed along with the abilities just makes wasp just able to respond to so many situations whether it's like flamers, heavy assaults, even Zeus and shield, because it has acid strike, you just acid and go away. Okay, so I have this armadillo. I'm setting in some mines uh, to prevent them from capturing this flag. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if they're actually that dumb enough to go close to the flag. I mean, by now they probably saw that I have lead mines. Okay, are they going closer? No, they are not. Let's try and bait with Wasp, though. Let's try and bait the assaults to come closer. Hit the mines, you know? Okay, that's a little too far out of uh, Wasp's range. Okay, okay, let's go a little bit. Gotta make sure we take as little firepower as possible while dishing out the most firepower. And there it is. Okay, nice. Gotta dish out as much 
uh, damage as possible with taking as little damage. Of course, you know, you know the drill. Well, they didn't come near the mines at all. But we probably have the situation under control and the wasp has already lowered to get the flag. I mean, so this flag is ours. In the meantime, we do see a bunch of flamers over there. And so I'll send in an air squadron to take care of those. Because flamers literally cannot even do anything against dragonflies. The machine gun really is useful here because anti-infantry is a thing. The long range of dragonflies is also useful too. Okay, there's literally no heavy assaults, no typhoons, no assaults, no... Literally, oh, deltas! Oh, delta, oh! That's a lot of deltas. That's literally gonna be able to uh, perform a delta strike, like a full-on delta strike, delta landing, like, like D-Day, like a full-on <laughs> beach landing. Just like, where's the good beach? I think this is the, this is the closest beach. Just like a full-on beach landing right here, just <laughs> hitting the base. That would be really deadly. Or if you just come on this, this beach, go on top of the hill and just hit right there. That's also a good idea. I send in my entire army to deal with this because I see that this is a really big threat. I got jaguars, I got porcupines, even wasp is out there. Sending in the acid strike. The deltas are attacking the dragonflies instead of the jaguars, so the jaguars are really able to dish out some serious damage against those deltas. And retreating my porcupines because uh, the dragonflies have dealt with those flame assaults. So no need for porcupine anti-infantry anymore. And since my opponent doesn't have any air troops, porcupines, I don't need the anti-air either. So I retreated my porcupines. There's my jaguar up right there. I do have a gun tower. Trying to avoid the gun tower, although I do have a couple troops. And I send in these porcupines to go capture this flag. Uh, only one delta got away, but it's not going to make farts going straight to a gun tower. Yeah, that's what I thought. Easy. That attack didn't do anything, but it did perform as a scout. Remember that this delta went straight to the middle of my base. Literally knows exactly what I have. But then again, I do out tech my opponent pretty severely. I have jaguars. I, I even have a wasp. I mean, come on. This is this is basically a freebie. I have a wasp. And there is no hero. No Cerberus. No Seraphim. I've never even seen confed heroes. I literally have never even seen them in action. Man, <laughs> these battles are boring. Where, where, where's the Solaris action, man? Come on. And my current win rate isn't even bad. It's like, like it's like 75%. So I shouldn't. My current win rate is big enough for me to get those guys, those whales. You know, this, those big boy spenders, those pro gamers. But I'm not getting them. Bro, matchmaking is like bruh. Okay, anyways, I keep getting these flags. Wonderful. But deltas do come. And so I take this advantage to put my jaguars on siege mode. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I thought that would be epic. Oh, oh. No, no. Get back. There we go. To put my jaguars in siege mode and fire at will. Trying to take down the factory and then this flame assault. Nice. Organized fire. I like it. it. Looks so beautiful. Look how beautiful this looks. Tell me this does not look <laughs> beautiful. And we see the cavalry has come. Whoa, those immortal flame assaults. We have to, we have to fall back. Flame assaults are literally immortal while in the air. 
And that's just going to cause more problems for my Jaguars. And we can see Deltas have come too to respond to the situation. And Deltas have also come here. So the situation is a little bit dire. Not that much. We are still winning. And we, we just got to keep that advantage. Make sure that we keep probing the defenses so the so my opponent is forced to keep a force uh to defend the base instead of capturing the flag so i can retain my advantage just keep it manually targeting these deltas one by one trying to avoid my jaguars from firing at the fire assaults although for some reason these jaguars want to fire at the fire assaults instead of the ja instead of the deltas i don't even know why <laughs> Look, poor coyote just got swarmed by fire assaults. That's a sad, that's a sad, sad death for the coyote, but he did serve well. Respect. Anyways, now that the deltas have been destroyed, these jaguars won't really have that much of an issue to deal with these fire assaults, and they're just gonna probe the defenses while I start capturing the flags with my main force. Also, making sure I get more troops and I upgrade my HQ because I have an uh, excess. Of resources oh yeah battles almost over oh yeah and here's a slight little battle before we end wasp is down but oh yeah easy peasy and as you guys can see from the domination counter at the top of the map near the CP counter we have won congratulations me what a great game i <laughs> okay whatever but this was a good game so i'll see you guys in the next one victory